welcome back to my channel. I am One Mechanic, or as, as a lot of you have gotten to know me, Dave. And today I have something a little different. Um, I've been wanting to change my Cornwell SAE wrenches. Um, they haven't failed or anything like that, uh, but some of the chrome is chipped off and everything else. And the replacement is not the same as what I have. So what I decided to do was I've been looking around for some other wrenches. And um, I'll take the cornwells home, so I have the cornwells at home. Um, but I found these other wrenches, which I think are pretty neat. I think so. But let me show what I got. Come on back. Here we go. you folks may or may not know uh, Falcom is another Stanley product or are they the same Stanley family as Mac, Proto, DeWalt, um, Craftsman. I mean they own a bunch of different name brands and what's interesting is on a Mac truck they have rebranded stuff like a lot of companies do but the funny thing is, is half of the rebranded stuff is actually other Stanley companies. Um, so it's interesting. But this is what I got. Got a set of standard wrenches. Comes in this really nice pouch. I've, I've never actually seen one with a buckle before. And when you get it, they all come individually wrapped as you can see I've already pre-opened this but this is what I got so these are made in the UK, UK and like I said this is another Stanley company and if you notice it looks a lot like Precision Torx um, and that's actually one of the reasons why I bought them. Now this set goes from one quarter all the way up To inch and a quarter. So let me unwrap these and I'll compare them to my Precision Torx and my Cornwells and we'll just take a look at the difference. Come right back. So here they are in my drawer my cart and uh, it only goes up to inch and a quarter so you can see so these other ones will stay here for sure and actually I changed my mind I'm going to keep the corn rolls here because I didn't realize this at first But, here is my Cornwell 916, and here is my new 916, and it is shorter. If you go to 
the inch and a quarter corn wheel. And the other inch and a quarter, it's, it's a couple inches shorter. I'm not sure how I feel about that. There's good and bad to that. Uh, one, I can get it to tighter spots. But other times, you know, I could use the extra leverage. Although I do have a wrench extender, so maybe that won't be a big deal. But one of the designs I really like about these is that offset. I have found there we go I have found where my position torques that end has come in so much handier in certain spots and as you see it's the same end I'm not 100% sure if they make the precision torques or not because there's also another company called Sidchrome, S-I-D-C-H-R-O-M-E, which as far as I can tell is in Australia only, but is again part of the Stanley family. Um, and these are called, their wrench style is called a 440. Whether it's Sid Chrome or uh, Falcom, Falcom, I'm not sure how you say that. Hope I didn't offend anybody by that. But as you can see, it's a model 440. And the Sid Chromes look just like these with a the spot in the middle um, as the Max. So I'm not sure if these are actual Sid Chromes or. You know exactly which part of the Stanley group makes them. But yeah, you know, that, that offset is tremendous. Because it's pretty much flat on this side. But the way that this is, you can get into some spots like if you had a short socket. Uh, super, super nice. Um, my 16s. Now, I personally, I like a thicker um, shank and stuff like that. And if you see, these are a little bit thinner, but I love how it fits into my hand. I do like the fact that it's a little bit thinner on the head, so that might let me get into some tighter spots. The even the um, precision torque, you know, is nice and thin and everything else. Um, like I said, I was a little surprised that this is a short compared to the Cornwell. You know what? I have one thing. Let me let me look at something else. Hold on. Cornwell 916s. This is a Tech 10, 14 millimeter. Basically the same thing. And of course the new wrench, which is a 916. And as you can see, this is a little bit shorter. In the Tech 10 or the Cornwell. But I like the design. I want to give them a try. Um, Tech is a great name brand too, folks, if you're not familiar with that. Um, I've used them professionally and at home. Um, matter of fact, quick side note if you haven't watched my channel before, but my half inch chrome, quarter chrome, and both standard and metrics are all Texan. 
they have never failed me. And I also have Tech 10 angle wrenches, which has never failed me. And the Tech 10 double end ratcheting wrenches. It's a great alternative, guys. Very strong wrenches. Like I said, they've never failed me. And their warranty is fantastic. But, so I'm going to use these. Like I said, I'm going to keep my Cornwell wrenches here. Uh, put them in my toolbox. Um, but uh, I'm going to give them a try. Oh, just so you know, the whole set, up to an inch and a quarter, with shipping was $221. Again, from the UK. It did take about three months to get. Um, so if you're in a hurry, not that good deal. Good of a deal. Um, but for the price and for the style and everything, I think it's a, so far as an overview, it seems like a great tool. I can't wait to start using them and see how they really work in real life. Um, I've attached after this, over here, a video from uh, the company themselves on this wrench. It is in French, but it'll show you some of the uses at all. And I'll show you how well this end works out too in that video. Short video. But it's on the end. Please folks remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.